All right, so today we're going to talk about electron configuration. Also about the Bohr model, shortcut, valence electrons, Lewis structure, and common ions. So the Bohr model. First thing when drawing out a Bohr model is you need to decide the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons that element has. Then you write the number of protons and neutrons in the center of that little circle, and then you fill in each energy level or shell with however many electrons that element has. So from the out or this in the, from the center out, the first ring holds two electrons, second can hold eight, third can hold eighteen electrons, and the fourth can hold thirty-two electrons. So let's do an example: Cl, chlorine. So we're going to decide the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons that element has. It's got seventeen protons, twenty-eight neutrons, and seventeen electrons. So we're going to write that in the center. So 17 protons, 28 neutrons. And then fill in each energy level of the shell with however many electrons that has. So it has 17, so we're going to fill in 17. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Just like that. All right. Another one, phosphorus, 3 negative. That means it's going to have 3 more electrons than protons. So it's got 15 protons, 16 neutrons, and 18 electrons. Write that in the center. And now we just fill it out on the outside, 18 electrons. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. All right, now electron configuration. So to do electron configuration, you need to know the filling order. That's what this, all these numbers are with the arrows and lines and stuff with it. Then you also need to know that all the S's can hold two electrons, the P's hold six, the D's hold ten, and all the F's can hold fourteen electrons. So we'll start off with just an example here. So what we need to do first is find out how many electrons there are. Because this is a neutral, because this is neutral, it has the same number of electrons as it does protons. So nitrogen has fourteen protons, which means it's going to have 14 electrons. All right. Now, these numbers up here, the superscript, those represent electrons. And what we need to do is we need to sum up all the superscripts to equal 14 electrons. I mean, in this example. So, what we're going to start with is the 1s2, because you always start with the lowest energy level. Then you go to 2s2. 2p6, and then 3s2, and then 3p2. Now, that we, st we stopped at 2 and not 6 because we just needed to add up to 14 electrons, and that's what we did, and that's your answer. We'll try again with calcium. Calcium has 20 electrons, so you just add up to 20. There's 2, 4, plus 6 is 10, plus 2 is um, 12, plus 6 is 18, and then plus another 2 is 20. Next one, gallium has 31 electrons. So 2, 4, 10, 12, 18, um, 20, 31, 31. That's all you gotta do. Now, with ions, it's, it's pretty much the same thing, except it has a different number of electrons because you have to take into account of the charge. So fluorine positive, or 14 plus, it has one less electron than it does protons. So it's going to have eight electrons. So do the same thing and fill it out for uh, 18 electrons. That's it, yeah. The next one has two more electrons than it does protons, so it's going to have 18 electrons. So it's fill it out, two, four, plus six, 10, 12, and then plus six, 18. That's all you got to do there. Now the shortcut, let's, uh, let's start with just an example. Shortcut, we're going to use SN, tin. All right, so our first step is to find the element SN on our periodic table. There it is. And then we look at our periodic table and find the noble gas that is before SN, and that's krypton. So write KR in brackets followed by that uh, krypton's or by its electrons. Then subtract... Um, 50 electrons for SN minus the 36 and that will give us 14 so then you find SN again and find out what energy level it's in it's in energy level 5 
So write out 5s because you always start with your s sublevels. All right. Then go and find 5s up on the fill table and start from there. Fill up all the way to 14 electrons because that's how many we have left to fill in. All right. So then your valence electrons. Valence electrons are the electrons in the outermost shell. On our periodic tables, they're also the number that's 1a, 2a, 3a, and so on. All right. Just an example, arsenic. If you find arsenic, then go up. It has five valence electrons. Francium, go up. It has one valence electron. There's another way to figure this out, too. And that's by looking at your shortcut or the full valence or the full electron configuration is to find the highest energy level in the configuration. Then add up all the S's and the P's, in this case, both these 2's. And so we have, or tin has four valence electrons. The Lewis dot diagram is very simple. You just need to put a dot around the symbol for however many valence electrons it has. So boron has three valence electrons, so it just looks like that. Fluoron has seven, or fluorine has seven, so it just looks like that. What I have is I have put a line between my carbon and my nitrogen. And on the left side, I have an X plus, And on the right side, I have an X minus or negative. Now, what common ions, what they want to do, what all these elements and atoms want to do, is they want to be like the noble gases, all right? So they're either going to lose electrons or gain electrons to become a noble or a, like a noble gas. Start off with an example here, silicone. What we need to do is find silicone and then count how many um, ele elements it has between silicone and argon, going following the arrow on whichever side of that big red line is. So there's one, two, three, and four. So silicone has a four positive charge. Arsenic, you count one, two, three. Arsenic has a three negative charge. Strontium. Uh, you count one, two. Strontium has a two positive charge. And that, that's all it is for common ions. Now, so just to wrap up here, we talked about the electron configuration. We talked a little bit about the Bohr model, the shortcut, valence electrons, Lewis structure, common ions. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you watch what other science videos I make in the far or near future. Thank you very much.